The tragedy has law enforcement across the country, including here in mid-Michigan, thinking about their own preparedness plans. These are times where everybody's conscience is shaken because of this. And so um, just know that uh, that's happening. You can look at any of the media sources that you can uh, get more information on, but we want to recognize that and what parents and family members and responders are going through as we speak. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson learned of the shooting shortly before a briefing this afternoon. TV5 Zane O'Mare broke the news to him in an effort to find out how his office would respond to a crisis like this. Zane? These situations taken very seriously by the Genesee County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Swanson tells me just last week a student here in Genesee County made a threat at school and he was taken into custody. Well, no one was injured and it ended up being just a threat. That situation was treated very real and very seriously. Preparing for the unthinkable. There's preventative measures and there's reactive measures, and we're ready for both. Four people are dead, and several others are injured after a school shooting in Georgia. Here in Genesee County, Sheriff Chris Swanson says his office is prepared for the worst. We have the ability to tap into schools and watch their surveillance cameras through 911. Doors are numbered, so when we show up, God forbid, uh, we know what door number they're talking about because they're labeled. Swanson says his department has also learned from other mass shootings. Each one of our cars are outfitted with uh, a tremendous supply of uh, trauma bandages and uh, tourniquets. Uh, we learned that lesson the hard way by talking to our friends in Las Vegas when they had the Mandalay Bay shooting. And those resources are ready to be deployed at any time. What just happened last week in a school district here in the county was a, uh, a kid in middle school that made a threat as he was walking out of the school. And that threat... Uh, was taken serious. We take the person in custody. We start uh, our interview process. We search lockers and bags and cars if it's appropriate. We go to the house. We find out with the family, uh, do they have access to weapons? And now we were able to, to take those and, and secure them so they don't have access. And as details continue to come out of Georgia, his office is keeping a watchful eye. Threats, even if it's a joke, are treated exactly the same way as if an act of threat. Swanson's message to parents tonight. Parents need to just continue to be vigilant, talk to your kids. Just because it happened in another state, you need to have that talk with your kids today. Uh, assure them that they're going to be okay, that if something happens, where are your exits? It's a reality. A reminder, if you see something, say something. Threats and other concerning behavior can be anonymously reported through OK to Say. We'll have those details and information on our website, WNEM.com. Back to you, Meg.